Hey, Tristan here again from SUVRVing.com, the blog, and SUVRVing, the book, which you can find on Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I sleep in my SUV. I have a little 2011 RAV4, which is a pretty small SUV, so if you have something bigger, uh, it'll definitely work for you too. I'll show you what I use for a mattress and sheets and how I, how I make room for the bed and everything inside of the SUV. So here is pretty much everything that I use for sleeping. I'll start over here on the left. This is the, the main thing that I use. This is a, a self-inflating camp mattress from REI. You can see here it is the camp bed, three and a half inch. And then uh, I have this, um, this sleeping bag liner that I use as a fitted sheet. And I always keep that on, on the pad. Uh, the pad is semi-deflated right now. It can roll up uh, to, be, to be pretty compact. Um, right now it's just kind of semi-deflated and I'll, I'll inflate it here in a minute and show you what it's like inside the, inside the SUV. For here I've got a couple of pillows. These are travel pillows, camp pillows, with little pillowcases on them. This is a sheet of plywood, not very thick that um, I use to support my head while I'm sleeping and I have uh, I've tied these loops of paracord on here. On the bottom it's just held with with a little knot. There's one in this corner and one in this corner. Sleeping bag, blanket, and top sheet. All of that stuff is usually stored in the back of the SUV when I'm not using it. So all that stuff goes in here. Here's the back seat of my SUV. And the great thing about this particular make and model of SUV is that these rear seats fold down pretty easily to be completely flat. There's a lever on the side here. Uh, I removed the, the headrest on this side because it folds down easier. It doesn't hit the, the back of the front seat. But you can see now it's very flat. Let's scoot back a little bit here. It's very flat. Uh, there are no big bumps or anything. Um, it's just one smooth, continuous surface from, uh, from right here to the back. When I drive, this front seat is back here a little bit. When I go to sleep, I push it forward to give myself the maximum amount of room here. And you can see that there's a pretty good sized gap, maybe a foot and a half right here. And if I were shorter, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm five foot 11 and so I need something flat here that I can, that I can uh, be on. So that's where the, the piece of plywood comes in. It goes right there, and it's held in place with the paracord and little keychain carabiners that are up here. So there's one hanging from each headrest support like this, and then this one gets clipped to here, and this one gets clipped over here. And now I've got this nice long sleeping platform, covers up that space nicely. If you don't want to use a piece of wood like this, you can use plastic bins to bridge that gap, or, um, you know, duffel bags, whatever you have, can go there. And so now, with the seat down, and with this here, this is the complete platform for, that I sleep on. If the seats in the back of your SUV don't fold down flat as nicely as this one does, like if you've got a, a weird bump here, or if the, the headrests stick up and do something funny, um, your best bet is probably to build uh, a solid, platform. I get a piece of plywood, 
and uh, either lay it across and, and put things underneath it to keep it up or, or um, you know, put little legs on it to keep it, uh, to keep it up off the, uh, the bumpy, uneven areas. So now I just uh, put this out and let it inflate and then I'm good to go. Here it is inflated. Got my two pillows here. Got my sleeping bag and blanket and sheet over there. Got plenty of leg room again. I am five foot 11 and I have another inch or two of height to spare. Um, the shelf that I have back here does cut into the leg room a little bit, but I mean, it's still a good, I don't know, good foot of space there. So it's not really an issue. And that's it. That's my sleeping setup. Pretty simple. Uh, I love how easily the back seats fold down flat. That makes things a lot easier. It's nice not to have to build a platform or anything like that. But, um, yeah, on, uh, on warm nights, I use the sheet or nothing at all on top of me. On the cooler nights, I use the blanket. And then on really cold nights, I use, I use everything. I use the sheet, the blanket, the sleeping bag. I put warmer clothes on if I need to, whatever I need to do to stay warm. Let me know if you have any questions about, uh, about my setup. Um, leave a comment below, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching the video. Thank you.